Hey everyone, welcome to another bonus episode of the New Marketing Show. So last time we were starting to answer some of the FAQs, so let's answer some more of the FAQs. You know, another one that we hear often is how, uh, how often should I update my website? That's a really good question. So how often should you update your website? Definitely have, make sure your website is updated whenever you change any kind of branding. Make sure that your website reflects the current state of the brand. If your brand colors are black, and gold, make sure your website is black and gold, like everything else. If you have any kind of new identity, if you have any new logos or new verbiage, new uh, call that, calls to action, hero images, new key messages, make sure that that's on the website. So whenever anything like that changes, definitely make sure you update your website. <clears throat> if, any, if you have a team page and any bios, if any of that bio or team stuff changes, make sure it's on the website. So. You need to update your website as often as your business changes. You know, a lot of times, you know, products and services, maybe you're doing away with a product, you're not offering that anymore. Make sure that that's gone from your website. Make sure that everything works in the online world as it is in the offline world. If you have brochures that mention new products and services and it's not on the website, make sure you put them on the website. So that's just the basic business information that always needs to be current. Aside from there, there are other ways to update your website. You know, content marketing and blog posts are a great way for you to continue to update your website on a regularly scheduled basis in order for search engines to really find you and in order for search engines to think that you're more relevant in your industry and maybe more relevant than your competition. You know, any kind of content that answers questions, you know, FAQ stuff, I'm starting to really, really love the FAQ stuff where once I was against it. You know, FAQs, you know, what questions do you hear often? If you don't have that stuff on your website, make sure that it is on your website. The other thing that should always be on the site is any type of contact information always needs to be current. Make sure your forms are all current and routed and are optimized for conversion. Make sure that you update the site to reflect the times also. You know, every website nowadays that I visit are mobile responsive. They should be mobile responsive. If yours is not mobile responsive, Make sure that it is. So that's another way to update it. So how often should you update your website? I don't know how to answer. I'm other than you should update it as often as you need to. And I would do it frequently. If you don't make any changes to it, I would at least make changes to it quarterly to make sure that everything is the same. Maybe introduce or elaborate on some product services. Case studies are another way to update your website. So if you have nothing else and you don't have a content marketing initiative, make sure you are updating it at least quarterly. Otherwise, you know, most of the sites that we work with, we update a couple times a week just to make sure that we can prove how relevant they are to the search engine. So, hey, for more episodes like this, make sure you check us out at The New Marketing Show. You can get us on Instagram, Instagram TV, YouTube, all that great stuff. TrinityWebMedia.com, Apple-Podcast, where you can find The New Marketing Show. Thanks.